I'm gonna leave that in. I just yawned there, guys, and I fully sounded like a fire truck. Yo, yo, people, Garrett Dune here for another video, and this video is gonna be in Farming Simulator 19, and today, we are gonna be continuing our series working as a firefighter. Now, last video, I did not expect the kind of feedback that we received. People like Zach Vlogs and Anthony Fletcher both asked for part two, as well with many, many others. So we are going to be doing just that. I have a few new fire trucks for us to use as well, and one of which even comes in two pieces. You might be able to tell which one it is. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Should be lots of fun. And let me know down below if you want any of these other vehicles brought over. Because if not, like whatever we bring over this video, anything that's left, I'm just going to get rid of and take off the map. But if there's anything specific we forget and you guys just really, really want, I will make sure to include those. But anyways, let's go ahead and grab our first vehicle and bring it to the boat. So I think we're going to start, let's go with, you know what, let's go with the two piece. So here's how it looks. This is the Mercedes engine bay. I, uh, it comes as a truck, but then you obviously have your big water tank trailer with it. So yeah, let's go ahead and back on up here. Should be pretty easy. Now I'm a little bit worried about this not fitting onto our boat. Uh, and we have a giant boat, but as we remember, the ladder truck only had a bit of space, and this is obviously quite a bit larger than that. But if anyone wants to see the lighting configuration, here that is. It looks pretty cool. I'm a fan of it, nothing too complex. And there is a siren, but you probably can't hear it because it's very, very quiet. So yeah, we'll just leave that thing off and we will load this up onto the boat. Okay, let's let's try this out. Here we go. Pretty good with our alignment. And okay, you know what? No, we have plenty of space. Yeah, we should be able to fit another vehicle behind here, which I'm glad to see. For the second vehicle, I think we're gonna take you know what, let's grab one of these. Yeah, I really like the rescue trucks. Doesn't really matter which one, I guess. Uh, this one has the hoses on the top. Let's check out the lights. And once again, they look pretty cool. No complaints there. How's the interior looking? Ooh, okay, I like this interior. We are a little bit far forward, but I think I have a mod that can actually back us up. Yeah, here we go. Let's move on back. I have no clue which mod does this. Uh, it's one that I received from playing with like Spencer and a bunch of YouTubers but it is quite handy. Hopefully we can fit it just the side here. Yeah, looks like we're able to. Let's grab the next vehicle. We should be able to fit probably two more on here, depending on the size. And since you can never have too many paramedic vehicles, uh, this is gonna be a great option. Obviously it's meant for firefighters, but we do have a full med kit in here. But yeah, this should be pretty good. Let's see the lights and siren. Lights, pretty solid, and siren, pretty much the same thing. Now this one does have a correct volume siren, which I'm glad to hear. Yeah, same as the last, let's just throw this on the back. Nothing too crazy. And okay, that should be good. I am coming a bit of an angle actually here. Let me reposition. All right, that's a little bit better. Uh, it should give us enough room to fit a vehicle beside it. And I'm not sure what we should take. Probably a chief battalion vehicle. I think that'd be awesome. So let's grab this one. Here we go. Start this engine up. And ooh, that's fancy. And I can guarantee you guys can hear this siren. This is going to get anyone to move on out of the way very fast. But here we go. And this should be a full load now. So we managed to get what? I guess four vehicles on here plus a big trailer. But now it's time to see if any of these strap down. Usually they don't. And yeah, it seems to be the same situation here. But we can bring up this ramp. All right, so here we go. And I'm just realizing a slight issue now. Usually we like to have the big ramp be for unloading. But I have the big semi truck facing the other direction. All right, you know what? We'll just figure it out once we're there. For now, let's get out on the open water and get up some speed. Our cargo is definitely shifting around. It's randomly jumping on me. And I'm not too sure what's causing that. Maybe one of these has some weird collision. Oh yeah, look at this. We're like spinning out of control. Here, you know what? Let's just turn around here because I don't think we're going to be able to do it if we 
go in the smaller area. So here we go, head in the other direction. Now this is technically reverse, which means all my controls are now backwards and we're gonna be going a lot slower. Okay, we are pulling in to the dock, here we go. I really hope this is a good idea heading this direction. Move a bit closer, there we go. And we can fold down the ramp. Now let's see what we can do when it comes to unloading. Yeah, I guess we'll just take this off first. There's no real other option. And something I just thought about now, there's a giant hill we have to drive up. I'm really not too confident with this thing's ability to get up it. Just for fun, on the way, I want to see if we drive through this big muddy ditch, how the vehicle handles. And it seems to do pretty good. Just for fun, let's also see the weight of this thing. Wow, this has no water in it and it is 22,000 units. I'm assuming that's in pounds, I'm not too sure, but that is crazy. I believe last video, the vehicle we weighed was like 4,000 or 6,000. And this is the moment of truth. Will we actually make it up? So far, so good. I think our front tires did lift off the ground for a sec. We're definitely cruising at a pretty low speed. Then again, we're already hitting some pretty deep mud. Uh-oh. Okay, you know what? You know what? Wait, wait. I think it's good. And, yep, we are all fine. Okay, now we have this issue that we also had last video. I'm not too sure where we should park this. I guess we'll just leave it at the side of the building here. And this will probably just be where it stays most of the time. Okay, there we go. That's a pretty good parking job. And here's the battalion chief. Let's get moving. Oh, and here, just to put it in perspective, this vehicle only weighs 2,800 units. Now, is there any way we could bring this inside? Just because it's a battalion chief, you know? Like, it's pretty important. Oh, no, we are hitting something. Something invisible. I'm not too sure what. This is going to be our parking spot. No visitors allowed. It's time for the big heavy engine. Let's get this thing out of here. Let's move on up. There we are. Oh yeah, this thing is headed up the hill like a champ. Okay, I need you guys to give me some name suggestions for our vehicles. Uh, mainly like the battalion chief, the ladder trucks. Uh, those are obviously very important. But yeah, let me know ideas, girl names, guy names. I don't really care. So there we are. Let's grab the last vehicle off the boat. Perfect. All right. So let's head up the hill. Oh, also, does anyone know what goes in the top? compartment up here like as you guys can see we have our hoses right all those yellow hoses but then there's this like divided section that is completely empty i guess we're just gonna park up over this direction since there really isn't any other option all right i'm gonna go back to the boat and grab a second load all right so we're gonna just pretend that the last 10 minutes of recording i did was actually done correctly uh yeah i i forgot to click the record button that's pretty awkward I've only been doing YouTube videos for what, like nine years now? But here is the vehicle that I chose and I guess I'll show you the lights and sirens even though I feel like I just did that. So there is the lighting configuration and here is how the siren sounds. It's the normal one we hear on most of them. But we can turn that thing off, turn off the lights and turn off the engine as well. We'll just leave this thing here. All right, there's still some pretty solid options. I'm going to say let's go for... No, let's go for this one. We have some red hoses on top, ladder, and I'm not too sure what the other thing is. It looks like there's a button on the end. It also kind of looks like a skipping rope. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best interiors I've seen on a fire truck in the game. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh, this is definitely going to be a truck we use all the time. And a cool thing I realized about this truck is if you look right here, we have this bright light that faces backwards. Let's see if it actually works. I believe it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. Look at that. So the area behind us, we can actually light up. So we'll just throw this thing at the side here. I could move it over, but then I would be trapped. <laughs> okay, we're running a little low on space. So I think we're going to take the ladder one truck. And yeah, once again, very well done. There are even lights on the bucket. What in the world? Oh, and it does extend out for anyone who is wondering. Now, hopefully it fits on this side. Uh, I think it will. I think we're just gonna have enough space. 
And, oh geez, that is a close fit. Yes, we're on, but we also have that big bucket. Here, you know what? Let's just raise up the ladder a bit. All right, that's one way to do it. Let's grab the final vehicle. Okay, we can only bring over one more vehicle. And I realized we kind of made a little mistake earlier. So I'm gonna bring over the Jeep, okay? And the reason for that is just, I want to be able to drive with the wind hitting against me. It just looks awesome. This is for the battalion chief and we'll probably be doing that role quite a bit. But that does mean we have to leave the Hummer. And I also realized we have this tank right here. I don't know why we didn't take this thing. It's so stunning with the ripped American flag and everything. It's just beautiful. We even have this big platform on the back to stand on. Okay, you know what? If you guys really want me to bring these over, comment down below and I'll bring them over in, I guess, the next video or I'll just throw them over there off camera. I don't, I don't know. But since we are limited on space, we're going with this very bouncy Jeep. And yeah, the lighting configuration on this obviously is not as cool since there's not as much space, but at least we do have a spinning light at the top and we do have a lot of headlights going as well. So that's pretty cool. And here is how the siren sounds. It is so loud. But here we go. Let's see what straps down this time. I believe only the ladder truck is strapping down. That's okay. I kind of expected it. So let's turn on this crazy, crazy startup engine. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be back in two minutes once we're ready to actually get moving. All right, let's back on up. Here we go. And everything seems to be staying still. Okay, we're somehow doing this crazy drift. Uh-oh, this might be a mistake. That uh, might be a mistake. Oh, you know what? No, we're good. We are good. Okay. I'm happy that we had a good recovery there. I've never tried transporting a cargo load and go full speed at the same time. It's really not recommended, but hey, we're doing it. And oh, geez. Um, maybe that's why we don't do it. I, I like, I saw it coming. I just thought we had more space. We're going to have to assess the damage once we are there. There's nothing I can do right now. I don't know how I'm going to explain to the department heads that we crashed four different engines and the transport boat before our opening day even happened. Oh yeah, that bumper there is also hidden. That's not good. Let's lower on down. If you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like on this video, it would help out a ton. We should be good to now start taking these things off. So let's grab the Jeep at first. Here we go. Oh no. How did I just do that? How did I just, what? There's no way I just did that. That's an issue. Like this is an actual issue. There is no attach point on the back. The winch on the front is not currently working. This thing is just stuck here. Like I'm literally just going to have to leave it. Ah. Okay, let's grab the ladder. I need to be a lot more careful now. Okay, here we go. Drive nice and carefully, lowering back down the ladder. And we are now good to be moving. Oh, we can even poke our head out the window. I think that's that same mod that lets us move back and forth in our seat. Now, this is probably a terrible idea, but I'm going to sit in the bucket and drive up the hill. I have no clue where our wheels are going to be located right now. We're probably just not going to hit this at a proper angle, but uh oh, that's kind of what I'm talking about. I'm telling it to go forward and we clearly are not right. That should be good, right? We're kind of straightened. Maybe I, I, I don't know. I, I can't see the tires. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. How are you so slow? How are you so slow? We brought the other ladder truck up. Is ladder one worse than ladder two? Is, it, is that what I'm seeing right now? We're going at like what? probably two miles an hour, maybe three miles an hour, slowly picking up a bit more speed. But hey, at least we get a cool view. Yeah. I'm going to leave that in. I just yawned there, guys, and wow, it was loud. I fully sounded like a fire truck. I'm really not sure where we should park this. There is no good option. Um, I would say like beside the station, but that's where we have the big tank. Okay, we might just have to find a wall or maybe put it at the other side. But I don't know why ladder one would be just chilling at the side of the station like that. Or you know what? We're going to just have to do it. We are kind of fenced in. There are definitely some openings and I am worried because of the ladder part. 
but we'll have the keys out of this at all times, so it should be okay. That is one way to unload fire trucks. <laughs> But here we go. Let's take the Wild West Country Fire Department truck off of here. Let's move up this hill. Yeah, this has no issues getting on up. This is an absolute beast. We're going to be driving this quite a bit in the future. And I'm just going to throw this right on over here. And then we should be good. It definitely is going to protrude quite far out. There we go. Let's grab the final vehicle of this video. That was another crazy on. There we go nice and smoothly coming on off there doesn't seem to be too much damage on that front bumper but it was definitely clipping through when we had that crash happen <laughs> i wonder if this is one of the trucks where we could attach a winch on the back because that would be very useful to have and since this can hold a lot of water i think that would be useful because it would be way down and we could really use it to our advantage then again i just got stuck going up the hill because, yeah, it might not actually be the best for that job if it gets stuck on something this easy. Well, okay, I guess this isn't really an easy hill to go up. But it should be able to do it. No way! Are you seriously stuck again? Last try. Here we go. Come on. Go, 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 go. All right, good start. Made it further than the other times. Can we keep the speed going? Uh-oh, we're slowing down. We are slowing down quickly. There we are. Okay. I was very worried that we weren't going to be able to make it up. And I was like, seriously, this thing out of all vehicles can't make it up. We had ladder trucks to do it. Like, why would this not be able to? <laughs> it's funny because the other truck that we just brought is a pretty similar design. Obviously, they aren't the same. Uh, this does have an extra set of wheels. But that, to my knowledge, would even give it an advantage, not a disadvantage. They must both just have different engines. This is an international, what do you say? Oh, you're a Freightliner. Okay, so I guess Freightliners are better than International? Yeah, okay, that's going to be controversial. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Also, check out our Discord server with over 2,700 members. Links down below. You're awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.